Seraphine is a powerhouse thanks to her game-changing crowd control, team-wide shields, and heals. She excels at turning fights with her massive ult, encore, and keeping her team alive, making her a strong pick in any team composition. Speaking of game-changing moments, let's dive in with Clear Jean, who's just waiting for the Nasher buff to wipe out almost the entire enemy team with one perfect encore. Even if Diana is low on health, don't forget she always has her shield, and she's just waiting for the cooldown to jump in with a full combo and take down Seraphine. But she jumped in too quickly, not waiting for Carrot Sprockly to use some spells for poke. However, he was extremely prepared for her engage. The enemies decided to engage, knowing that tight spaces work in their favor. Right after Smoldered cast his ultimate, Rengar activated Thrill of the Hunt to go into stealth. However, Seraphine's encore completely disabled Gwen, and Rengar never even got a chance to show up again. This is one of the most unique moments in recent years, where Seraphine completely wiped out the entire enemy team, one by one. The best part? This clip was sent in by a proud father who was watching as his young son pulled off his first ever pentakill. Jarvan got surrounded in the river from all sides, and it seemed like even his flash wouldn't be enough to save him. But the moment he noticed Seraphine nearby, with over 500 ability power, he decided to jump back into the fight, knowing exactly how powerful she could be. When Poppy stepped out of lane for a moment, the enemies became more aggressive, moving past the minions to poke Seraphine and keep her at bay. With her health down to almost half, Jin decided to finish her off with his ultimate. However, it seems he forgot that she also has her ultimate, and his positioning wasn't the best. As a fan of Kiara's playstyle, I believe the enemies thought they had the fight in the bag after taking down almost everyone. With Kiara seemingly alone, they assumed she wouldn't pose much of a threat, especially with their numbers advantage. However, things aren't always as easy as they seem, and they're about to find that out.
Let me be clear, I only have one clip from Arena Mode where Seraphine is left solo against Olaf and Ryze, but the best part about this clip is that both enemy champions are marked as S tier, while Seraphine isn't even placed in the tier list. This guy is definitely one of the most patient and calculating players. You can see the opponent standing in a line, and initially casting directly from his position would only charm two enemies. That's why he smartly repositioned to get the perfect angle, charming every one of them. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.